Hello, welcome to my tutorial on building a remote shutter release for a Canon camera using the CHDK software. Um, I built it for my SX40, but it should work with any camera that is compatible with this software, um, as long as it's got a mini B USB connection. Um, my idea was to build it with quite a long cable, a 5 meter cable, so I could operate it from a bit further away. And this is what we need to do. I found that lots of sites were offering bits of information, but no one site seemed to be offering the whole package. So this guide will tell you what parts you need, where to get them, and how to build it. Here are the parts that were required. I bought these very cheaply on eBay in March 2013 and the links are shown below. They may not still be listed by these sellers but you will be able to find exactly the same thing if you look. This is the battery box with a switch and that was £1.71. pence. Here is the 5 meter USB cable um, this was £1.89. Pence. Here is the wiring diagram. The plan is to cut off the USB A plug and connect the cable to the battery box. This makes a very neat remote shutter release using the inbuilt on off switch on the battery box as the shutter button. Okay, first thing we need to do is to prepare the cable by cutting off the USB A plug and stripping the cable back so you can see your black and red cable. We don't need any of the other cables or the screen so these can be cut off. We can now prepare the battery box by opening it up and you should see what we've got here. Okay, first thing we need to do is to get the black and the red cable out of the hole in the side of the battery box so we can do a bit more preparation work on it. We now just need to open up the hole in the side of the battery box so it's big enough to take the USB cable. Okay, push the USB cable in through the hole that you've just opened up with the drill and it's a good idea to put a small cable tie around the end of the USB cable and tighten it nice and tight and that will stop the cable from pulling out of the battery box. Okay, if you now prepare the cables as shown in the photo, um, I had some heat shrink that I put over, but if you haven't got the heat shrink, then you can always use tape at a later stage. Okay, solder the red to the red and the black to the black, so nice and simple. Okay, put your heat shrink over and heat shrink it or wrap your little bit of tape around if uh, that's how you're doing it. Now all you need to do is neatly tuck the cables away. Okay, put your three AA batteries into the battery box and put the lid on. Okay, and there you have it, that's the finished item, uh, which should be very reliable and work very well. I tried mine today for the first time in the garden. I could put the camera outside on a tripod and put the cable through the kitchen window and I took these pictures of the garden birds on my bird feeder and it worked very well. Hope you like the tutorial and it's useful. Um, as I say, see the links below for um, where you can get your parts. Right, thanks for watching.